and welcome to Down the Vent. My name is Joe. I am Matt. And we're in person. It's amazing. It's since it's been almost a year since we've seen each other in person like this to play board games. Joe was literally a different color than last time I saw him. Wow. Yeah, I am now uh, green, <laughs> like an orc. I'm, I'm being I'm transitioning into an orc from uh, World of Warcraft. Anyways, <laughs> now that we started on an extremely awkward note. Tonight we're playing Canvas, the Kickstarter version of Canvas, uh, from Road to Infamy Games. Matt just got this in the mail, like, last week. Uh, I mean, we figure we haven't seen or been around anyone besides ourselves for the last month, so... I literally haven't even left my house, so... Yeah, let's play board games, right? <laughs> so, we're trying to shake off some of the dust and remember how to do this. It's been a while, but, uh, yeah, Matt, do you want to give a quick explanation of the game? Or I'm literally going to read this. Okay, sure, okay. give us the overview. You are a painter competing in a prestigious art festival. Over the course of the game, you will collect transparent art cards and layer them to create paintings. So it's a lot like, um, Glo is it Gloom? Yeah, Gloom has the transparent cards where you put them in the sleeve. Custom, yes. custom heroes? These are the cards. Uh, family members in Gloom. Yeah. You have your family. So I'll show you up close here. See, there is, this is all one card here. See, I can move it around by holding my finger here, but it's all see-through except for the painting and then the little symbols. Okay, that's pretty cool because it has the transparent so as he sees the stuff on the card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Depending on which card you choose and the order in which you place them, you will reveal or cover icons that trigger various scoring conditions. So as we place the cards throughout here, there's, there's certain pieces that layer over the top of each other and we score accordingly. We'll go through that in a little bit. So I'll give an example here, I guess, might as well. So if you play this card, so these are these cards are sleeved. These are our art pieces that we're painting on our canvases. So you're going to sleeve them in, so then I could sleeve this, or put that card on top, and you get to put three. Yep, three. And if you put this one on top of that, see it covered up that one, or both of those symbols, giving you different symbols to end the game with. So put those back. Um, so each card combination creates a fun, unique illustration for your title to end the painting. So it does actually give names to the paintings too, which is kind of neat. Oh, that's fun. Um, when all players have completed three paintings, the game ends. The player with the most points uh, wins best in show. So basically on our turn, we have two options. We can either take a card from the lineup. Um, this card, furthest over this way, is free, but anything past that will cost inspiration tokens. Yep. So if Joe wants to take this third one over here, he's actually going to have to put an inspiration token on this guy and this guy, and then he can take that. Yep. After that, all the cards move down, and his inspiration tokens stay out there. So if, yep. say I want to take this free one on the end, I would then get Joe's inspiration token that he just spent. He would. Um, that's one option is to take the cards. The other option is to paint a painting. Um, the way you paint a painting is you take three of the art cards from your hand, sleeve them into your painting, and that painting goes out there to be judged. Yep. Um, the way the judging works is based off these scorecards here. Um, here's an easy one we can kind of put on the close-up. This one is composition, I believe. Yes. Um, and what it is is the more colors you use, um, or if you use all five colors, you, you get a ribbon, basically. Yeah. And then the ribbons at the end of the game, if you have, so this is in the purple area here. Whoops, it's hard to see because I covered up. It's in the purple area. So you get one purple ribbon for your each painting that has that meets this requirement. And at the end of the game, one purple ribbon is worth one point, two is worth three, three is worth nine. And hey, Drellin, what's up? How's it going, man? And then the other, so like the variety is you have to have these four symbols. The repetition is you need, um, you get one ribbon for every pair of triangles you have on your painting. Um, the variety, as I said, you need one of each symbol on your painting, at least one of each of those symbols. And then emphasis here is exactly only one of those symbols on your painting to get that one. Um, there are some other things that give you, you bonus uh, ribbons depending on what you have. And these are just these gray ones here. We'll score them as we do the paintings. Yep. Um, the player that goes first is the person that most painted recently. It's probably you. Probably, because yeah. I painted my minis not yeah. too long ago. Okay, all right, so I get to go first, huh? Yep, and you'll, you get to take a card, so you can either take the free one or pay some inspiration. Um, let's... Interesting. It's really hard to play in with nothing in your hand yet. Yeah, all right, I'm going to take the... I'm going to pay an inspiration to take this heightened one here, and then they'll all slide down. And then there's a nice little box over here that has more cards in it. Go ahead. Yep. Just so you can't see what's coming out. Um, but there we go. Deep. Ooh, it puts bubbles. And the cool part is when we put these into our paintings, our paintings are actually going to start to look like 
So I'll just leave you, leave it here so you can get an example. So this is what my painting looks like right now. So there we go. Just, you know, a nice little moon, moony night. But then when I put this in there, oh, oh, oh very cool. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that yet because I don't want to complete my painting. And I can't until I have at least three cards. So Let's see here. Oh, man. I know. What do we do? I'm going to go one, two, three. Wow. It's a curiosity. It's got a cat on it. It does. You want that? Did Escape. Oh, there's a guy running away. This is cool. Um, I'm just going to take the free one here. And get, some, <laughs> yeah, get two inspiration tokens. Get two inspiration, yeah. Oh, man, if I could get... I don't know why I want the cat in the empty birdcage oh, so badly. Be, that would be beautiful painting. I don't think it really does anything for me to do that, but... <laughs> <clears throat> but, but, it, but it would be beautiful. I know, but... Beautiful. This is an awesome... Oh, that's an awesome mechanic? Yeah. These clear cards aren't used in a ton of games. Um, Gloom is one of them, and then there's that one Cus from a Custom Hero, the trick-taking game. Custom Heroes, that, yeah. that one was good. And then there was the one from AUG that was a deck-building game that used them. Oh, yeah, you hated that game. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> uh, no, not Tainted Grill. Something. It's because I broke it. Like <laughs> Yeah, Matt broke it. He could play through his entire deck every turn. That's the best way to do deck builders, I'm telling you. It is, yeah. He did great, <laughs> um, but he beat us by a million points. I'm going to take this free guy. Okay, these will slide down. Ooh, that's right. uh, Let's see here. Anxiety. <laughs> oh, my. Um... Oh, some of them have two symbols. Duh, it's right there. I don't know why I didn't see that till now. Oh, that's sweet. Um, this is, this is, I think this is a challenging game if you think too much into it, right? Cause yeah, I think so too. I'm just going to go for it here. Take the deep. <laughs> yeah, take the deep. So at this point, Joe has four of these cards in his hand, which means he can paint a painting if he'd like. I can paint a painting. Uh -oh. I have three, not four. There are three, yeah. Still, yeah, that's enough. Let's see. Lurking for a sec. Cool. No, no problem. Let the puppy out. <sighs> Mystic Veil. That was the game. Yes, Mystic Veil. Ugh. Now you gotta tell him when he comes back. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> don't be a jerk. Cards? Come on. Well, I mean, I don't have much options. I can take three. One of those three. This is a really good, like, intro level game but it's super maybe i'm just thinking more than i need to i am for sure now what happens if i don't use all five of my car or if you have five cards in your hand you have to paint a painting right but say what do i do with the extras because you can only put three in right they stay in your hand they stay in your hand okay that's what i was hoping for i'm gonna get like a negative four points i think you can't right. get negative but Oh man, something came up you want. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this perspective here because I like that All right. little eyeglass there. Oh, this has got a mouse. Attraction, eh? Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Hey, I, wow. I need a purple. Let's see. Because that would give me all. You can only use three, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna score this one no matter what because almost all my cards have that because I'm stupid. Let's see what else we <laughs> You so stupid. You're so stupid. Um, that would let me score that, I guess. But like, come on, Brosif. What's going on? Uh, I'm gonna take anxiety because it says anxiety. Okay. Oh, there's a little mouse on a balloon up there. Huh? I know. My cat could have went after the mouse. Hmm. So I'm going to finish a painting. Yep. I just need to figure this out here. Which ones Which I need one goes to on line top. up. Yeah. I like that. And you can only use three. Yep, exactly. Three of your art cards. Okay. I'll put this painting in here. Uh, 
that went the wrong way. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that did. Definitely went the wrong way. Come on. I should just put them all in there. Yeah, put all three in at once. There we go. It's like more dramatic this. this way. It is. All right, so I have deep perspective. Ooh. I'll show you my art here. So as you can see, I have a little mountain there with an eyeglass and some boobles. So you got um, two of these. So, yep, because I have, I have one pair, so I get one green. Let's put it over there. Yeah. Let's show the scoring. So we're going to do the scoring here. So I have one set or one pair of triangles, so I get one green uh, set there. I have one triangle, one pinwheel, one of those, and one of those, so I'll score that. Yep. So I get a red one as well. Um, I have more than one of those, so I don't get that, but I do have all five colors, so I will get one purple. Three ribbons. Three on ribbons on my first painting ever. I know. I'm magical, aren't I? Pretty much. Mystic Veil. Yeah, it's, see, he got it. See? Yep. <laughs> they got it. Cool. All right. There we go. My first painting's done. Take that, Matt. I win. Basically. <laughs> this is a super competitive game for those that just joining. Obviously. I don't know what I'm doing. I have four cards. I gotta, I gotta make something happen here. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, I could do that. But then I'd want to get some of these guys in there. Do uh, that doesn't help me. Yeah. <laughs> these, like, well, that's not bad. If I can just get something red for the front, because that would give me three ribbons right there. Oh, yeah. Or put the red one in the back. Fragile. There's two chromas. One, oh, two, crap. Two. Let me see what's out there. Red with a... Hmm. I know, you were way smarter with yours. <laughs> I just lucked out. <laughs> That's all that happened. I spent a ton to get that, that spyglass because it had the right... the purple spot filled on it. Hmm. I know what I want to think. I'm going to do that. Ooh. These. So now Matt has five cards in his hand, so he has to finish his painting next I do, turn. yeah. Ooh, that's a nice little lamp post there. I'm going to take Escape. It's a heightened Escape happening right now, which gave me three of my little uh, artsy tokens there. Ooh, corrupted. Ooh, okay. What color right. background do I want? I think it's a good color. <laughs> All right, I have just painted my first painting called Liberated Anxiety. Ooh, yeah, let's come over here so we can rate it. Liberated Anxiety. That looks nice. Wow, you have a lot of, uh, so... I don't think it scores till the end. You don't have, um... The no, four symbols. You ha you only have two of them. You don't have any triangles. You have more than one of those, but you do have every color. Yeah, I get one ribbon. So you What's get one problem? purple. But on top of that, you also get four gray ribbons. Yeah. Because this right here says one gray ribbon per of that symbol on there, and he's got four of those symbols. So that was really good. So four gray ribbons. So you got five ribbons on your first painting, technically. The grays are not worth as much. I think they're just worth two each. Ah, uh, yep, two per gray ribbon. There you lost one when you moved it. Oh yeah, he's got his little easel. I guess we could. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Beautiful. <laughs> you can see that, I guess, kind of. If we put him. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> nice. All right. It's not bad when we're not playing on camera, right? Because then it's. Yeah. No, that's that's nice. Set him up for everyone to look at. Um, stare in awe at your painting. Stare in awe. Stare in awe. Ooh, corrupted. Right. That's cool looking. I'm gonna go one, two, and get divine. Go ahead. Fine. Corrupt. Do corrupt the divine. That works, right? Yeah. Perfect. Beginning. Well, that doesn't help me, does it? Um. I'm gonna take fading because I don't know what I'm doing. No, that's 
time. Give me some uh, inspiration tokens. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Man. Shh. You're, Shh. you're ruining the art. Shh. The it's fine. Those go to the bottom now. The beautiful, beautiful art. That's fine. Is that a stork? Childhood. Oh. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and actually finish another painting. I think. Wow. Let's go for it. Here. Yeah, I like this. So I have divine escape. So here we go. So I do not have all four symbols. I do have two pairs of triangles though, so I get two greens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I oh my gosh, is that your third? That is my third green. That's yeah. eleven points. Yeah, I do not have exactly one of those, but I do have all five colors again. I believe red. Yep, I do. So there we go. Another three ribbon painting for me, and it was a divine escape. Yes. 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 So divine. Much escape. <laughs> Much escape. <laughs> Oh, that's all the symbols, right? One, two. Oh no, I need the, the faded one still. The which? Oh yeah, the yeah. liney one, liney boy. Liney boy. I don't. You said all these symbols have names. I just color boy, triangle boy, liney boy, <laughs> liney boy sunny, sunny boy. boy. <laughs> hey, sunny boy. <laughs> that's right. We're very technical with our. Who's winning? Um, it's hard to tell right now. I've completed two paintings where Matt's only completed the one, but um. I don't know. You can't really tell, I guess, till you get to the end. Right, yeah. I mean, right now I would have... Oh, this is my... Because Matt's two, last two paintings could, like, blow mine out of the water. I'm going to take a traction just because uh, I need some of those. Whoops. Yeah, like, right now I only have nine points. Okay. And I have 11 just in green, <laughs> Just guys. in green. But I have two paintings completed. And the game doesn't end until everyone completes their paintings, so... Um, it's not like if I finish mine first, Matt's screwed. Yeah. It's actually kind of a nice, peaceful game. Like, it's four points, but, like, yeah. you do, it doesn't feel competitive. And there is a solo mode, too, you can play, uh, just to see how many points you can get. Uh, you can hold up to five cards in your hand. Once you have five, you have to finish a painting. But the paintings can only hold three cards each. So, um, But then you keep the other two cards in your hand to... So you don't want to just take cards in the beginning if you're not planning to use them. Otherwise, you're kind of limiting yourself the rest of the game. Whoa. Does that just double the next one over? That's a good question. I'm not sure what that times two arrow guy. It, it must. It must just double the next one over. Yeah, whatever symbols are on it. That might have been an expansion one. I'm not sure. That's fine. I'd say it's a safe bet that it doubles the next yep, thing I'm over. Yep, I'm good with that. <laughs> so we'll say that. What is this guy here? <laughs> oh my IRL gaming what the, is this I see what's up panic hey panic yes we are IRL gaming we've had enough of coronavirus and COVID and Matt and I don't go anywhere or do anything um so that's true I gotta build a painting next turn we'll paint a painting oh thanks for the heads up now I know I don't I can save some money here <laughs> Um, truth, truth and justice. All right, let's just take corrupted for free. Build your painting, boy. Boyo. Hey, what's the last symbol I'm missing on? Oh no, there's four. Okay, cool. I was like, shoot. Alright, what color do I want? Red or blue background? Blue background looks cooler. I have just painted my masterpiece and have called it Fragile Warning. Fragile Warning? Okay, let's take a look at Fragile Warning here. Oh, that's cool looking. I like the, the lamppost and the, the stork. Alright, let's let's score here. Do you have you have the, the hue, the triangle, the, 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 the sunny boy, and the, the liney boy, so you get your red. Yep. Boom, red ribbon. You have only one triangle. Yep. You do have one hue, though, so you do get the first blue ribbon of the game. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Boom, boy. Um, and then you have all five colors, so you get your purple ribbon. Yep. And you get a gray ribbon, because you have... Or no. Yep, one yeah, gray one ribbon. gray ribbon. Yep. There you go. 
beautiful piece of art. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad you two are shut-ins. Yes, I know. We're blessed with being able to work remote and not go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks <know>. to Amazon. <laughs> Dude, I have so many boxes now. Like, I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, your turn. Yeah, about that. I'm going to pay one. I'm going to get the simple boy. Simple. Was it actually called Simple Boy? No, it was just called Simple <laughs> Boy. Improbable. Not impossible. Improbable. Inconceivable. It's impossible for me to get the 11 on this now. I could get the 4. The 11 on what? This, because I, I only got one ribbon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could get all five colors, which would bring me up to 9. That would be good. That double triangle, though, is nice. Yeah. Variety would be nice to get again. All right, you see want to build a snowman? Go running through the hall. I'm missing a triangle. What the heck does this mean? You just get a gray, Um, I think. You just get one gray Okay. ribbon, probably. Yeah, it's gray shape. Uh, oh, you know what? They're different on the bottom. Yeah, they are. There. So if you are colorblind, um, that's good. Good catch, Matt. Uh, did you name the painting? So the paintings actually get names from the cards that you put together. So like, see, with these two cards put together, this is called Corrupted Attraction. But if I take uh, Corruption out, or Corrupted out, it would be Simple Attraction. Just some hot, or whatever, a little mouse on a balloon and um, some... Uh, paper airplanes there so pretty cool i've been out of the house like twice in the last month nice that's it's fun isn't it never going anywhere <laughs> luckily we have all these board games that can be played single player right one two three i'm gonna take expanse expanse which brings out sudden which is a bed in the air that's yeah if that's sudden that's pretty horrifying yeah <laughs> Ah! I'm gonna take this guy here. Is that the chair? Or I, it it or sounded monkey? like a car, right? Yeah. But I, I was like, is it the chair? Oh, look at that. It's undies. Undies on a flagpole. Unashamed. Oh, boy. Oh. <sighs> I'll take the free one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and build my last painting. Paint my last painting, not build. Corrupt, corrupted truth. It's called. Ooh. That was cool. Yeah. So this red is just two times the sun symbol. We're guessing. So, um, yeah, that doesn't really do him anything. Um, I don't have every symbol because I'm missing the liney boy here. I do have another set of triangles though, so I will get another green ribbon. Um, I do have exactly one uh, of the hue, so I'll get the blue ribbon, my first one. And then I do have all five colors, so I will get another purple ribbon. I don't know, Matt. I think those gray ribbons are really going to... They're only two each. I know, but that's a lot, actually. That's a lot. No, right. it's not. You're, you have me beaten so much. I don't know about that. You literally have 16 points. That's more than I have over here. <laughs> Just in green. You, you have ten just in gray, though. That's the grays are good. No, the grays are good. Uh huh. <laughs> That's why you started your Friday solo stream. Yeah. Cool. The theme is great in this. It is. This is a really cool, like relaxing game. I can't get all five colors. There's none with a purple. Oh snap! I know. I'm glad I took that purple one when I did. <laughs> so do I build it or take another one? I can only take one more, so I can take this or this one. Oh. I mean, I guess that gets me two points. <laughs> yeah, it has a gray on it, right? What else can I get? This is per liney boy, so I could do that and that. Or that, that, and that. And that would just that'd give me two, four points. But that's it. Um, uh, gotta be something better I can do. 
You were so close to backing this game. It does have a solo mode, Panic. Um, it's good. It's very, very intro level, but it's good to play a game that's not super brain burning all the time. I'm enjoying this. And this is actually pretty brain burner <laughs> for being how simple it is. <laughs> Trying to line up all your art correctly. Yeah. What do I want? Yeah, these are... Well, if I take... If I take this one that has a triangle, I can at least get a triangle in there somehow. Okay. And there's tons more of these painting cards in here still, so. Mm. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Panic, I saw you streamed with uh, <laughs> uh, Room 51, not Area 51, I was going to say. Uh, how'd that go? Uh, I believe it was last night, right? If only I had another try. If only I had anything useful. You're fine, Matt. We will have another game after this one, since uh, this did not take nearly as long as we thought it was going to. So. No, yeah, I think it's at a half an hour. I'm not sure how oh, long Oh, really? We are. Okay, yeah. well, that's about right then. But We've been streaming for 30 minutes. Sweet. So I guess we can, well, I'll leave it for now. <laughs> I give up. Let's give up? <laughs> Well, now people are just watching me try and put cards together, right? Like... Paint your most beautiful painting, Matt. <laughs> Paint my most beautiful painting? Yeah. Not getting a purple really screwed me. I mean, it's my own fault, right? I should have planned better. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an extra one here. Yeah, is that for me? <laughs> is that how the game works I don't, know, I don't even know where I got it from. <laughs> I took it a long time ago. That was really fun. Yep, last night I talked about you guys your can't yeah our can't stop rules that's that's my new favorite part of our stream um yeah is can't stop i'm kind of getting over all the board game arena gaming but can't stop with all those rules is a blast so i'm just gonna put the cat in behind because i don't think i can get any higher yeah, points anyway. way all right what we got here improbable expanse improbable expanse Ooh, there's an elephant a cat and a whale so let's see here. You do have all four symbols, so you get a red guy. Yep. Red ribbon. Um, you do not have two triangles. Nope. You do only have one of the hue things. Yep. And you don't have all five colors, but... Oh, no, there's no gray either on this one, nope. is there? Okay. I couldn't make it match. There you are. So now we just um, look at the points. However many ribbons of each color is how many points you'll get. So, like, for example, I have one red ribbon, so I'll get four points for that. I have two, so I'll get eight. Nice. Um, I have four green ribbons, so that'll bring give me 16 points, which will bring me up to 20. Compared to eight, it's a good start. Good start. You don't have any green? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have one blue, so I'm up to 21. I have two blue, so I only get four more. So that's 12. Yep. And then I have three purples, which brings me up to 30, because that's nine more points. I have two purples. Three. So 15. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 23, 25. Yeah. So five points? I there, guess that's not too bad. Is there any other, like, like, you don't get points or minuses for having cards left in your hand or anything I don't think like so. That? Let's check. Um, game end. When all players have completed three paintings, the game ends. Once you've completed your third painting, your turns are skipped. Calculate your score by adding the points from each set of matching ribbons to determine the value of each ribbon set. Compare the number of ribbons to the corresponding scoreboard or scorecard. Yep. Bonus ribbons are worth two points each. Yep. The player with the most points wins. Okay. If tied, the player with more inspiration tokens wins. Ah, uh, so these if are tiebreakers. Still tied, have a neutral person judge the artwork of the tied players and declare that's, a winner. That's cool. I like that. That's a good rule. 
So there you go. That is Canvas from Road to Infamy Games. Are there other scoring cards that you can, that come with the game? Yeah, yeah. There's actually a sure. ton of scoring cards that come okay. in this game. There's a small stack. Oh, nice. Um, these are just the scoring cards that are recommended for your first game. First game. Okay. And there's more paintings and stuff, um, too. There's also a... There's an awards card, um, which I think was one of the expansions. I'm not sure, but I believe these are just handed out at the end of the game. Let's see. Oh, two times. Yeah, that was an expansion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Choose a randomly select one awards card. Okay, so if we wanted to play with awards cards, these would just go out at the beginning of the game, and you get awards for having certain oh, things. across all three yeah. paintings. Or, okay, cool. That's neat. And the two-time. Two-time doubles the icons in the adjacent swatch, and it can, the arrow can point either way, it looks like. Oh, nice. Okay. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I like this game, actually. Yeah. This is great. Easy. You want to rate it? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I know. We used to rate stuff. I've been a long time. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's easy to learn. Mm -hmm. It's very relaxing to play. The artwork is beautiful. Oops. That's not purple. Come on, Josh. Um, man. 8.5. Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah. I was going to give it a 7.5 because I was trying to be like biased because it's my game or whatever you know no yeah give it what you feel i mean i'd give it an eight because I, I feel like anyone can play this game especially if they're an artsy person like mm -hmm. this is this is cool like I, I like painting and stuff this is enjoyable yeah i uh yeah i really enjoyed it it's it's well made it's easy it's i don't fun. i don't think it was that expensive either for the all-in version two thousand dollars no big deal yeah that's an often <laughs> compared to these priceless works of art yeah exactly <laughs> that we created <laughs> yep yeah, that's cool. I, I really enjoyed this. So, highly recommend it once it comes out that you, you try and find Canvas to give it a try. Plus the box uh, you can hang on the wall. Yeah, you can. Which is kind of neat. There's a little hook on the back. Yep. And the game actually does slide out that way, so you can leave the contents <laughs> in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, it doesn't like close together like a normal board game box. So. That's right, Panic. Yep. I did get the little easels as well. They're not, like, it was just part of the all-in. They're not bad. Yeah, you can probably just like show them here. Like, see, they just sit out like that, and you just can put the art out on them when it's done. It's really neat. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna set up for another game. Yes, Are you sir. down for another? All right, we're gonna tear this down. We're gonna be back with Pickle Rick, <laughs> the complete opposite spectrum of the game. It's world. like the same game, really. But... It really is, yeah. And it comes in a Pickle Rick. <laughs> So we're going to get this set up real quick, and then we'll be back to play some Pickle Rick. So check you in a few. Thanks, guys.